What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We're gonna harvest some corn today. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. I hope you guys are having a great day. Hey, we're going to be talking about the bumblebee corn I got back behind me. Now, uh, Mark from Bumblebee Junction sent me a bunch of seeds. Oh, it's been a few months back and he wanted me to try his new hybrid corn. I've never grown corn before in my life. I think most of you guys know that. I'm not a gardener uh, except for this year. I actually did not too bad for the first time, um, but all his corn that he, that he sent me, it was like 100% uh, germ, uh, germination rate. Everything I planted sprouted up. I mean, it was awesome. Um, he really, he really has a good, um, good hybrid, I guess. I guess over there, um, he he's crossbred different strands and all that stuff, and he really knows what he's doing. Um, but today, I'm gonna show you guys harvesting the corn. Now, if you guys seen my, one of my other videos, um, I had a, or I've been on Instagram. Uh, if you're not on my Instagram, go check out Keeping It Dutch with Two H's. Um, and I post a lot of pictures of the farm and stuff like that on there in the house. But um, I have worms in here. Um, I didn't treat these with any uh, pesticides or anything like that. Um, I know most of you guys do to keep the, keep the, the worm population down. Uh, they look like caterpillars to me, but this one right here has a bunch of holes in them, so I know this, this has got uh, worms in them. I'll open it up and show it to you guys in a little bit, but right now I'm going to show you guys a harvest, and then um, all this, um, the, st the corn that's good, I'm going to keep. I'll show you guys all that. I'll sort it out here in a little while, but I'm going to give all these stalks to the pigs. So I'll take you over there, as long as they don't get too dark on me, and I'll show you guys doing that with my little sword I got going on here. Yeah, hey guys, if you haven't checked this thing out, it's like a freaking sword. Um, bare bones, I can't remember what, uh, it's called something. Let's see if it's on the back of here. Designed in the dirt is good for the soul. It's out of Salt Lake City. But yeah, um, Bumblebee Junction recommended me get one of these for the garden. Um, I haven't got to use it a whole lot, but it's got uh, measurement marks on there for when you're planting and digging. It's got a little, you see a little saw going on right there and then a little sharp edge right here. And it's good for digging, cutting. I'm gonna cut some of this corn down with it. I'll show you guys. But if you guys are interested in one of these, I'll put an Amazon link down below. Um, it's pretty cool, it's, it's really well made. I plan on using it a lot, but this is probably really the first time I'm getting to pull it out and use it. So let's harvest some of this corn before I stab my eye, and uh, we'll see how it all turns out.
Last one. Hey folks, so you guys can see I got my first corn harvest out of the way. Let's take a look at some of this corn. Got a big one right here. Check this out. Now this corn, like I said before, was gifted from Bumblebee Junction. Mark and Tina sent this to me and my family um, to grow corn for the first time. Um, he was wanting me to grow uh, a lot more than I did, but I didn't have enough room. I wanted to do it in the uh, raised bed because he's wanting me to feed my pigs. He goes, man, it's a good, cheap source of uh, pig feed, and also it's good for your family. And he sent me some that it's a, it's a mixed variety. So uh, when Mark sees this, if you want to, if Mark wants to leave a comment down below about what kind of corn he sent me and uh, where you guys can get it, um, he'll leave a comment down below, and I'll pin it for you guys. And then you guys can you guys can see exactly what he's got going on, and the proof's in the pudding. Let's see what this old corn looks like. Like I said earlier, a lot some of these got uh, worms in them. I'm going to show you guys the natural way to get rid of worms out of your corn. And I'll show that to you guys here in a little bit. Man, this one looks great. Worm free. That's what we like to see. <laughs> Let's see here. This is, um, he said a lot of this is like a, a decorative corn, I guess you might say. He said you can eat it. Um, but I really, this is just a test run for me for this year because next year I'm really going to get busy with the corn. But look at this. Now I know I can grow it thanks to Mark and Tina. So next year we're going to have us a good harvest of corn and I'll do all the, all the uh, necessary spraying, I guess, if you need to spray it. But look at this head of corn. Look how big that is. Look at that. I just tear right into it. <laughs> it's awesome. But yeah. That's some cool stuff, and I guess you dry, I don't know a lot about drying corn out and all that stuff, guys. Um, I'm sure a lot of y'all know that. You're not here to watch me garden uh, for gardening tips. You guys might see here, you might be here to watch me fail and succeed and how I do, but first time ever growing corn, this is awesome, awesome, awesome. But yeah, but uh, you can see it's starting to turn colors, and he said a lot, some of these are you dry out, and then you see them like you put them on on kitchen table and all that for uh, uh, to decorate the place uh, during the fall and all that. Um, so he'll give us good tips and all that. Here I'm just here showing you guys uh, the product that he sent me. And like I said earlier, every one I planted, like every single one sprouted up. Um, for the most part, they all had heads of corn on them. Some are small, some are big. But I don't know. I mean, that's just part of it. Well, this one, I'll show you guys. I'll show you um, one that you could tell that has worms in it. They'll have these little holes in there. They'll have little holes in there. A lot of times they're up, right there up at the top. They'll come in and down. This one is a good head and has no holes. So there's no there's no worms in this one. Um, several of these do have worms in them. No big deal. I'm going to give them to the pigs. I'm going to take you guys over there and show you guys that next. Now I'm keeping all the good ones. All the ones that have worms are going to the pigs. My first corn harvest. <laughs> that is awesome. It don't get it. It don't get any better than this, guys. Being able to feed your pigs, your animals, with the feed that you produced over there in your garden, on your farm, on your homestead. Now I'll throw some of that in there at the other pigs too. All right, guys, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna do my outro real quick. Hey, go check out Mark and Tina from Bumblebee Junction. They sent me this corn, it's awesome. Uh, most of it turned out with no worms, without any uh, chemicals or anything like that. But I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to get rid of worms the natural way. Give them to your pigs. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.